Paul. I, uh, I, I'm in my last year, going into my last year of my civil engineering technology program at the new Cambridge campus. Um, yeah, I got one more year to go and then uh, hopefully after I'm going to come back and they offer the postgrad in viral course. So I think I'm going to do that and get a little bit of both. I thought I was going to be more of a hands-on type of person. I thought, oh, I couldn't be stuck in an office for the rest of my life, uh, that kind of stuff. So I wanted to be out working with my hands, and I thought a shop would be the, the perfect place or um, whatever. And after doing that, and then after a year in the civil engineering program, I realized that um, I kind of do like the office uh, scenario, and I found that in most um, jobs that you can get in my field, you can get a little bit of both of the field work and the office work, so I think that's the perfect match for what I'm looking for. Civil engineering is uh, pretty much, um, if you stick with the regular civil stream, um, that's all infrastructure growth, so it'll be road reconstruction, it'll be um, buildings. Um, you're pretty much, as a civil engineering technologist, a CET, um, you're pretty much on site from start to finish. Um, they do, if you take the postgrad environmental or you can take the environmental stream, um, they do the ground engineering, the geotechnical stuff, uh, making sure the soils are able to carry the load of a road or a building. And then uh, we stay on site when there's construction, when they're laying the pipe under the ground. Uh, we stay all the way to the building construction, making sure the concrete is uh, strong enough to support itself. Um, and environmental is more, um, they deal with um, groundwater, um, the soils, and, um, and that kind of stuff. Uh, we do a lot of math, a lot of physics, um, but one of the main courses that keeps us outside, which everyone seems to love, uh, no matter where you come from, is our surveying, and surveying is done all outside, uh, pretty much just measuring the topography of land, and um, they use surveying a lot in our field, in the construction field, um, just for pretty much laying out where everything's going to go and then that's where the construction workers base off of. Just give everything a shot. You have so much time in, in life to figure out what you want to do and if you take a few extra years to stay in school and, and test a whole bunch of things out just to see what, see what you would like to do, it might seem like a lot of money you're putting out for something you didn't really want to do, but really no matter what you do in life you're going to get experiences that are going to help you with what you're going to be doing in the future. Um, one thing I would probably recommend is the um, Tech Foundations course that Conestoga offers, um, just as kind of a prep course to getting into, I know some people do the prep course to come into my program, and um, it's a, a bridge into a lot of other programs. So you can get into Conestoga, you can get a feel for how everything works here, and you can just take the basic math and science courses, um, the um, technical communications, just like an English class, uh, you can take that and you can talk to people that are in the program or you can talk to the professors while you're at the campus and see what the program's like and then see if that would interest you. Yeah, I think it's, a, it's an awesome place to learn, like you said, with um, the, the newer technology because it is a new campus. Um, recently, um, my, my program bought, uh, I think it was eight GPS surveying equipment, and that's a whole nother level of the surveying that the program hasn't really been able to get into yet. And uh, because they introduced that, it's a whole new level of learning that most people out in the field are starting to use. And a lot of the older people that are, um, the baby boomers that are retiring, they don't have training on that. They just know the basics. So it's good to really get the newest and up-to-date equipment um, and then you can get the experience on that and that's what that's what workplaces are looking for and they're they're hiring what you do here counts out there yeah.